this lesson is on integers, an introduction, and another introduction to just simple number systems. So on this slide here, I wanted to talk to you first before we do integers about just typical systems of numbers. Numbers can be categorized in more than one system. And we're gonna start first with the basics. So the basic number systems that we can classify them are, are the counting numbers and the whole numbers. Counting numbers are essentially in the name, numbers that we count. So when we're growing up and we're learning how to count, we usually start counting with going like one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these are considered counting numbers. Uh, you'll notice that there's no decimals. Uh, they're pretty basic. They're just the numbers that you count with. A whole number is kind of exactly like a counting number, except in this system, we actually include the number zero. So we'll start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And so you'll notice too that like the number 1 and the number 2 and so on are both counting numbers and whole numbers because numbers can be classified as more than one thing. They can be in more than one system. Today in this lesson, we are actually going to focus on whole numbers, but we're also going to focus uh, on their opposites. So what I mean by that is when we're talking about what an integer is, an integer is a whole number, so 0, 1, 2, 3, but also their negative opposites. Uh, so before we talk about negative opposites, I, it's very important for you to understand what the sign of a number is. Uh, you think of signs as maybe something that you see outside, but in math, a sign is either positive or negative. So when we talk about the sign, if somebody says to you, what is the sign of this number? You have two options, it's positive or negative. What you need to know is if you're given a number like the number five and there's nothing in front of it, we automatically assume that it is a positive uh, number. We do though sometimes put the positive number symbol and the symbol for positive is plus. So plus or positive, right? The symbol is a plus, but we do say positive five. We don't say plus five, we say positive five. The symbol for a negative is the subtraction sign here. Uh, and we don't say minus five, we say negative five. It's just proper math. Saying minus five is not necessarily wrong, but it's not proper when we're talking about mathematics and talking about signs of numbers. So this is negative five, this is positive five. And like I said, any number that is negative will have this dash in front of it, but any number that is positive can be written as a positive five with the plus symbol, or it's just written as the regular number. The exception to this is the number zero, because zero is uh, neither positive nor negative, neither positive, it's just, it's just zero. <laughs> and uh, you'll see when, when I show you the next slide, that zero is like the neutral subject when we're talking about numbers, whole numbers, counting numbers, or integers. So remember sign of a number, positive or negative. Remember that zero is an exception. Remember that we are talking about integers. So what I've done for you here is I've created a number line, but we're gonna call it the integer number line. And you must have seen this somewhere uh, before, where, or even just a number line. You must have seen number lines before. Sometimes we use number lines to help us determine what's bigger and what's smaller than other numbers. We do greater than, less than. But I haven't totally filled it out yet. So uh, on this side here, I, well, you'll first see that there's a zero in the, in the middle, right? Zero is neither positive or negative. It's the neutral spot, spot. So I'm going to be first talking about this side of the zero side. Uh, and this side is with the right side. In case you don't know your left from your right like me, <laughs> I'm going to write it up here so that we're on the same page. So these are numbers that are greater than zero. And a number that's greater than zero is we're going to start with one. Remember, no decimals when we're dealing with integers. So one, two three, four, five, six, and obviously I keep going on and on and on, okay? So these are the positive integers. These are positive integers, and some characteristics, just to give you an idea, is that they are greater than zero, greater than zero, um, but also they are to the right. In this case, because it's horizontally, uh, we say they are to the right of zero. Uh, and so that can give you an idea of what I'm gonna do on the other side. So on the other side over here, we're actually going to deal with now negative integers or negative numbers. Uh, and so when I said to you on the last uh, slide, I did say um, that they were 
whole numbers and their negative opposites. So an opposite, I hope you know what an opposite is, 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 is literally the exact different thing, but a little bit the same because it's still going to be one, but it's going to be a negative one. So it's the opposite of one, whereas it's not positive, it's negative. And then we have negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. And of course, we keep going pretty much backwards, if that helps you. You're going backwards. Um, you're counting down. But you're still going one, two, three. But in this case, you're going this way. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay? So things that you need to know is these guys are actually less than zero. And I know that that's really strange to think of. Um, and they are two to the left. To the left. All right, right of zero to the left of zero. Uh, now it's 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 interesting because you're probably going to be asked what's greater than another number, and you're going to be confused because I know it's weird, and you have a negative three and a negative two. The closer to zero you are, the higher you are. The the greater the number is, and I know that you're saying, well, here's uh, three, so three must be bigger than two. But actually, in this case, this here is actually smaller. A negative three is actually smaller than a negative two. And same like if you were here and you saw, um, you know, like a six, if you were here at negative six and I asked you, what's bigger, negative six or negative two? You might be like, oh, well, negative six because six. But actually, the bigger the negative, uh, the smaller it is. And that might be a bit hard for you to understand at first, and that's totally a-okay. What helps me that I wanted to show you in this video lesson was to actually draw out a number line like this. Uh, you've probably seen something like this before that you don't know it, and I'm going to write here. This is kind of like a thermometer. Maybe you've seen a uh, thermometer. Um, a thermometer has this uh, positive and negative. You just don't know it. We do say it every day. We say minus, it's minus two out, you know, it's minus three out, it's plus four out. Uh, but in math, we're going to use the words positive and negative. And I do find that it's a lot helpful for you to see which one is bigger than the other because the higher it is, the bigger it is. And visually, it might be easier for you to see. So here, we're going to say getting bigger getting bigger just so that you know it might be easier for you to compare so this is getting bigger whereas this here is getting smaller um, and also I know that I finish at five and negative five but of course there's these arrows here so I hope that you understand that it's all the way to infinity and in this case it's all the way to a positive infinity and all the way to a negative infinity um, so that's essentially what an integer is. We're dealing with negative numbers and now positive numbers. And of course, using a number line is going to be super helpful for you because it's easier to you, for you to visualize. So I encourage you to always make a number line or have a number line available to you when you are dealing with questions that deal with integers. And that is it for your introduction to integers.